Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. Today's episode will be drawing a log. Now, please excuse the lighting today, as we had an equipment problem. I'll try to get that fixed as soon as possible, but I won't let it stop me from drawing these little doodles. Today's drawing, like I said, is going to be a log, which is a lot like the tree we drew the other day, except dead. Anyhow, let's start drawing a log. Now, the first thing I like to do with drawing a log is to draw one end of the log. Give us some reference. And I'll draw most of a circle, an oval, that sort of a shape like that, and that'll be one end of the log. And I like to think of this as the bottom of what used to be a tree, and so this will probably be one of the wider parts of the log. So as I draw the top part, I'll come down a little bit. I'll leave a little bit break here and continue along and finish this up with a curved end like that. Now what I like to do is to create a little branch that's coming out of the log, which is why I've left this space. If you remember, branches are kind of wide, they get thinner, they branch off. And just like the tree, that's what's going to happen here. In fact, we'll let it branch off like that. Little circle at the end. Little circle at the end. <laughs> that's nice. We're going to repeat the uh, pattern that we did on the tree to make the bark on this log. So all we're going to be doing is making lines that go across. They kind of follow each other, but they're jagged and therefore seem more natural. So let's start towards the center. Just kind of make a fairly straight line like that. It's got some bumps in it and that's fine. And then another line just above it. You practice your patterns, I'm sure you can come up with even better ways of doing this. And they don't necessarily have to start at the uh, edges. You can make little lines that just start randomly and end randomly. And what we're doing here is just generally creating the pattern of bark, which will also exist on the uh, branch that's coming out here. So now we'll work our way down towards the ground. And we'll make the end now. Now I've heard in the past that you can tell the age of a tree by the amount of rings, and you can count them which means that a cross-section of a tree is easy to re represent with rings. Kind of leave some of the rings unfinished at the bottom. You'll see why in a little bit. And don't worry if some of the lines run into each other. If you've ever seen a cross-section of a tree, you'll see that happens in nature all the time. Just do as many as you like until it's kind of filled in. And like the bark, you can put in a little random line here or there to fill in the spaces. Now we're going to create the bottom of the log with the uh, grass pattern that we've used so many times before. And this, if you haven't noticed, is just making the pen go up and down a little as it goes across making a little bit higher in the areas that you want to seem closer to you and a little bit lower towards the end as they trail off. So something like this. And what you're doing with this, as I've said before, is giving your drawing a place to be. 
and this drawing is in the grass. There are all kinds of other patterns that you could put at the base of things, but this is the one I seem to stand by the most. I'll do what little I can with um, my particular talents to detail this up a little bit. Of course you can do some shading. Uh, you can shade where the branch makes a shadow. Don't know if I did that right, but I did it anyway. And anywhere where the tree bends and the light, which as we usually put it, is coming from the right. And when I say we usually put it, I'm doing it for these drawings. You can put the light source wherever you want. But as the light is coming from the right, if the tree bends into itself a little bit, it would create a shadow, something like that. And we've drawn a lot. Maybe use our skills to put a little leaf at the end here. That's nice. A little S. And a curved line to meet that S. A line down the middle. Eh, it's a leaf. So like I said, we've drawn a log. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. Subscribe. I'll teach you to draw... Well, teach is an um, improper term. I will demonstrate how I draw different things in the future, and I hope you'll join me. Thanks for watching, and if you have drawn anything, please send a uh, copy of it to me. Post it somewhere and send me the link. Uh, you can just message me, or you can leave it in the comments down below. Also, if there's anything you'd like me to draw, please leave those in the comments down below. I'll do my best, and we'll have some fun. So thanks for watching. It's a Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!